Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your desktop in Ubuntu. Now, as you can see, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. But um, I'm going to show you the program I'm using and how to use it. Sorry, that was my cell phone. Um, the program that I'm using right now is called Record My Desktop with the uh, GTK front end. And I recommend this one because it's it works the best for me, and from what I heard, it works the best for a lot of people. So I'm a uh, it's in the repositories. Just um, search for it in the Cinematic, or I don't really know how to say that word. Syn syn ap synaptic package manager, whatever. Anyway, just search for it in there. You'll find it, and um when you open it up you're gonna get something like this right here and over here you're gonna have your um, video quality your sound quality this little checkbox which it doesn't really say anything beside the checkbox but when you hover it over it'll tell you where the enable disable sound recording and um... you got your advanced here which lets you show you where the um... frames are temporarily stored while you're recording Let's you change your performance. I usually keep my frames per second on 45 out of 50. Um, I haven't really messed with these sound settings before. They've always worked fine for me. And then you got miscellaneous, which allows you to change your cruiser when recording, follow the mouse or not, and a bunch of cool stuff like that. And um, one of the things that I immediately found that wasn't exactly in the um, program itself, but was actually in the mixer, is the ability to change which device you're recording with, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Uh, what you do is you go up here to your taskbar, and you right click on your sound icon, go to open volume control, and right here in your mixer, you'll have um, a couple of things here. And right here, you'll have um, down at the bottom, you'll have this little picture of a microphone. And um, by most of them, there'll be a little X, which means you're not recording from that. But one of them will be clear, which means you're going to record from that device. Now, if you want to record from um, your speakers, like record your speaker output, you can check this one here. But I usually just record from microphone because you know that's just what I do. Anyway, so that's how you change that. And over here, I mean not over here, but over here, this is where you select your recording window. You just make a bar, a square or rectangle or whatever you want to make. And um, if you just want to completely record a window, you'll come down to your select window, and it'll give you this little cross, and you just pick your window, and it, it'll record it. See, it automatically just perfectly record it. So that's how that works, and everything else is pretty much obvious. You can start it and stop it from your taskbar. See, right here, you got your record symbol. Wait, this is the one I'm recording from right now. That's the one that I was showing you. And you just press record stop. Pretty simple. Everything works pretty straightforward and happy recording. <laughs> I know I I'm happy recording. Well, anyway, that's it for now. Comment, trading, subscriptions, all that are always welcome and make me happy. <laughs> well, um, anyway, I'll see you next time, guys, or talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.